Hey there folks, today you're in for a bomb video. I managed to increase my deposit to 11,000 starting with just one buck. How it went, all details in video. Let's not only analyze signals like I usually do, but also the typical mistakes in trading that many beginners often make. Watch this video till the end and you'll get a bonus. I'll show you how I usually withdraw my earnings to my personal wallet. No more waiting, let's go now. All right, let's commence trading. And the very first deal will be initiated with a focus on decreasing. To ascertain the reasons, you have to take a close look at the chart and analyze it thoroughly. The price of the euro dollar pair has been rising, approaching a crucial resistance level on the chart due to its continuous increase over an extended period of time. To witness this, you had to zoom in closer and focus your attention. Well, we can observe that the upward trend has acquired momentum. The blue line of the ADX indicator is positioned above the 25 mark. However, it is important to mention that as we get closer to the resistance level, the ADX lines, both green and red, begin to reverse their direction. Furthermore, upon examining the MACD histogram, it becomes apparent that there are these red bars emerging. So now I'm coming to the conclusion that there will be a price reversal, or more precisely, a bounce back. So there will be a price correction at this level, and in the future, most likely, the price will continue to rise with a possible breakthrough of this level. Yep, folks, that's how it is. While doodling, we made our first profit of $1.87 in the account. Let's keep up with the further development of this couple and continue. Hey guys, in this video, I am going to talk about the mistakes that beginners make in their trading. Such analysis is crucial in order to achieve success and income, but that is just one piece of the puzzle. Secondly, you have to learn how to make the right moves so that your trading balance starts to grow. What is the method to do this? Follow my Telegram channel. In that place, I delve into the specifics of how to trade, and I carry out trading marathons in order to boost your deposit. Yep, that's right, your deposit. In the secret club, I share signals that, if repeated, will increase your profit. In a week, we're going to be boosting balances from 100 to 5,000 bucks. We trade every day from Monday to Friday at a convenient time for everyone after 6 p.m. Moscow time. In Telegram, you'll find reviews from other participants of my marathon and my contact info for getting in touch. Right, let's chat in person and I will assist you in taking your initial significant steps in trading. By utilizing my signals for trading, you will gain experience and acquire new knowledge. Do you want to learn how to make money by collaborating with me? The link to my Telegram channel is in the video description, waiting for you friends. Let's continue dissecting today's mistakes. My friends, almost all trading mistakes are related to hasty decisions. This happens especially often on the one minute time frame. Candles are changing rapidly and I want to press the button to ensure that I close the deal within the specified time frame. To give an example, in the situation that came before, I could have made the incorrect decision if I hadn't looked at the chart in a zoomed in view and found the point with a strong resistance level. Yeah, it is an absolute rookie mistake, but nevertheless a significant number of inexperienced individuals make it when they initially open up the trading floor and become familiar with the world of trading. Let's return to our business today. I initiated an additional trade for a decrease. Let's observe what is occurring with the value of the asset at this moment. In my opinion, it's pretty clear that the stock prices are going down right now. I think it's no secret to anyone. Let's examine the signals from the indicators. Firstly, with the MACD indicator, we observe its lines have nearly crossed from top to bottom. The ADX signals haven't changed. We already talked about them before. Right now I see the target on the middle line of the Kerner channel, which is the support line in this case. Next, it is highly likely there will be an upward bounce, but we will address that later on. Another, folks, major mistake by the way, is entering into a deal without understanding the end goal. So when you're trading on ABUM and you don't understand where the movement will end, you won't be able to accurately calculate the expiration time. You betcha! We seem to have everything right with the calculations, like in a pharmacy, so let's close the deal with a profit. We have $3.50 on the balance, let's reinvest this amount and continue trading with this pair. Hey friends, you gotta figure out the end goal so you can understand if the graph has room for the movement you're planning. So how much longer is this movement going to happen? For example, let's say you found the right entry point, but the nearest target is so close that the chart reaches it and bounces off within a minute. So in the end, during the expiration period, there are several ups and downs, and you find yourself, so to speak, out of luck. Back to the drawing board. 
You see, I'm opening a short position now. I don't see any reasons for a change in market sentiment currently, so I took advantage of the small price pullback. Basically everything done right, situations happen, you gotta make use of them. But you gotta know how to use it if you know the point of graph. Open trade from upper boundary of Keltner channel, but still see ultimate goal on middle line of channel. Hey, check it out. After a long rally and a bounce off the resistance level, we're starting to see the trend weaken. Whether there will be a full market turnaround is uncertain. But for a while the price will fluctuate within a range, I'm almost certain about that. I In this corridor, I'll outline it as follows. Support and resistance levels for better understanding. But let's observe, so to speak, how the events will unfold. It is difficult to determine how quickly these boundaries will be breached. I'm not Arakov, and of course I can't guarantee it, but I've proposed a hypothesis about the future market situation. For now, let's seal the deal. Have 6.5 bucks. Let's watch this couple longer and continue. Hey guys, we're currently seeing a trend towards a market turnaround. Let's see if this will be a full-fledged reversal to a decrease in the exchange rate or if the correction is still ongoing. At least one level of support has already been breached. Let's provide it with a name. The position of our level was precisely located right here at this particular point in space. Level done like lower limit of Kantner Canal, important to understand where chart can move next. So let us establish the subsequent support level in order to observe the objectives for analyzing the current situation and gain insights into the goals that need to be achieved. Somewhere around here is the second line of resistance. The goals are more or less clear. Let's keep on observing. Well, that is great. The price has just rolled back a bit and I am trading on the downside again on this move. Based on indicators, downtrend continues to develop. After waiting for collection, I opened deal down, expecting price to drop further to resistance level. Friends, I want to discuss another mistake. When you have a sense that the opportunity has been missed and you enter the market, so to speak, in pursuit, initiating a transaction at a rather unfavorable moment. For instance, currently I wasn't sure the chart would drop rapidly to the second level of support. Although, in hindsight, it is obvious that you could have sold short immediately after the first level. In reality, the breakthrough of the level could have been both false and the price would have gone up then. However, I patiently waited for the right kickback and seized the chance to make money on this move. My forecast was correct. Yeah, there's a profit of $12. What will happen next, I'm uncertain, so let's search for a new opportunity for a deal today. Hey guys, the currency is CAD JPY, we'll trade up. It's a common pattern of sideways movement within a price range. Let's take advantage of it. Attention to the schedule. We have a support level from which I initiated a trade in an upward direction. And the level of resistance. Prices in this range move from level to level, roughly speaking. Fluctuating up and down. At times the chart may slightly surpass or dip below the corridor boundary, but this occurs in periods of low volatility, so there are no special conditions that would indicate a more significant breakthrough of this level. If we take a look at the pattern that ADX draws, we'll see that its lines are also squeezed in this corridor. The blue ADX line, which shows the strength of the trend, is at a low level, confirming a low probability of breaking out of the sideways range. In such a situation, a common mistake is entering a deal in the middle of the hallway. This happens when there is no full understanding of the market situation. When you clearly identify such side trends, your trading produces favorable outcomes in them. Right now we have a balance of $22, that's good. But here's the golden rule folks, only trade from the borders. In the middle of the hallway, traffic is chaotic and never predictable. Let's monitor this couple. Perhaps we can still manage to squeeze some profit out of this market, despite the challenges we are facing. This time let's open a deal for a decrease. Pay attention to the chart. Let me explain what has changed and why I made this decision. According to the ADX, we can see that a trend is gaining strength, which is currently under the control of sellers. We have in fact gone below the support level of our corridor that I drew earlier on, which is a significant development in our situation. After the price dropped below this point, there was a correction and the chart once again hugged the level. 
Here's what I'm expecting. The correction will end at this level and continue to decline. The ADX indicator essentially confirms my hypothesis. Essentially, we have concluded this side project phase and there are indications that it is on the verge of gaining momentum. With Magdi, for instance, you can misjudge growth. I keep reiterating the same point, my friends. You need to analyze the chart, not the indicators. We only find confirmation of our hypothesis from them. If you have any doubts, just don't open the deal. We have $41 on the balance, that's awesome. Let's move on to other currency pairs and look for more opportunities for today. All right, folks, I'm opening an option with a prediction for a decrease in the value of quotes. Let's dive into this situation in more detail. We can see that the graph was steadily going down. This downward movement ended at the support level. The support is right here with us. This decrease is also reflected in the ADX indicator. We can track the decrease along the red line, but the trend is weak and shows a lack of momentum. The blue line, which displays the strength and not the direction, is positioned below the 25 mark on the indicator, indicating a relatively weak trend. So there was no breakthrough of the level, and the chart bounced back like a spring to the middle line of the corner channel. I have the expectation that subsequent to this correction, the price will initiate a downward movement starting from this resistance line. And in such a triangle, the price will fluctuate, and as it gets closer to the corner of this pattern, there will be a breakdown downwards in the price. Let's examine it. We are nearly finished with the agreement. Yes, incredible. I have $76 on my account balance. Once again, if you merely looked at the indicators, we should have opened a long position in the market based on the information they provided. However, even if you do not strictly adhere to indicator signals, you should take into account the function they serve. This is really important. Almost all of them are used to identify a strong trend. And if there is volatility, then it means it's absent, and there can be no talk of a trend. If you don't consider this, you're wasting money. Let's focus on business. I'm initiating another trade based on my previous analysis and including one more potential scenario of events. It is entirely possible that there will not be any breakthrough in the near future. You have to keep a close eye on the schedule and consistently analyze that stuff. Since the ADX lines are tangled up like a rope and the MACD columns are barely noticeable, it's more likely that the impulse will fade and we'll be back to a sideways market. But I open a trade from the upper boundary of this corridor and that, as I explained earlier, is the right strategy during a flat market. So no matter which of the two scenarios happens next, the price will go down anyway and the deal will bring me profit to my balance accordingly. Hey everyone, make an effort to come up with a few distinct predictions for each deal you encounter. When you have multiple scenarios, it will be easier for you to estimate the likelihood of events unfolding. Trading is about calculating probabilities, not making predictions with 100% guarantee. Awesome, I've got 140 bucks on my balance. Let's keep an eye out. Maybe we can close a few more deals here. Okay, what's up? Another deal, also downside. I've already explained analysis and reasons for action to you, basically. There have been no significant changes in the market, with the exception of one particular aspect that stands out from the rest. There was a correction at the peak where I initiated a trade and I am waiting for a downward movement. Above average line of Kurtner Canal, candle went away. Again, yes, it is to the upper boundary of the corridor. MXD shows growth, but again with low volatility. So if you're trading solely based on indicators, Without a comprehensive analysis, then at least build a system using multiple indicators and wait for signals to align from all of them. This particular strategy is acceptable and profitable, but only if you adhere to it strictly and consistently. Right on cue. The biggest mistake is to back off if you don't understand what you're doing, especially if you don't feel the market. But often newcomers make a bunch of unrelated actions and lose money, complaining about everyone except themselves. Friends, there is profit but the scenario is moving sideways, so I suggest switching to another pair, looking for new opportunities today, and opening a few more deals. Alright, well this is a great opportunity for short selling, which is what I'm actually doing. Let's take a look at what was happening with the chart of our asset. We can see there was a price increase along the ADX line, and to put it simply, the same movement was observed on the chart. At the current rate, the chart has reached an obvious and well-defined resistance level. 
then the trend loses momentum so we confidently initiate a short trade from the level of resistance. What mistake can you make here? The price has been consolidating near the level for a long time and the candles are very short. In that case, you need to open up near the line. If you go a little lower and the price rolls back to the level, the deal will close for you in the negative. Another problem like this can be solved by increasing the expiration time. You can certainly raise it and enhance the likelihood of success. In my prior videos, I discussed expiry time. If you haven't watched, you should definitely see. It will be helpful for you. And our deal is profitable. $453 on my balance. Let's raise the investment in a bank and search for a new opportunity for today. I'm here folks for Euro British Pound Currency Pair on Stock Exchange. Short position opened. Let's have a look at the chart. I believe the signals are quite obvious at the moment, but let's review them once more. Signal for decrease on MACD. Green line crossed over red line from top to bottom on the chart. The red ADX line crossed the green one, went higher. The lower boundary of the Canera channel is also broken through. It is all written on your face. The next level of support is located at a considerable distance. Let me sketch it out. So there's room for the graphics to grow. There is ample space to maneuver. The signals are aligned. It is clear as daylight. So we are trading for a drop and patiently waiting for the price to decrease. Seems like no room for error, but even the most dedicated traders can make mistakes in indicator analysis. If you are second guessing yourself for a long time and missing the moment, the only remedy for that is practice, which brings confidence along with it. Hey team, we have $821 in the balance. Recommend reinvesting this amount into new deals. Keep an eye on this pair. Good price rollback and a good opportunity to open a short trade on the correction. I am in agreement and for the same reasons. Let us watch together and be on the same wavelength and simultaneously continue the conversation. Earlier I mentioned uncertainty. Practice is the only way to eliminate it, but there are also psychological techniques to speed up the process. As an illustration, identify your strengths and weaknesses. Gain insight into how you react to a particular situation in the field of trading and prioritize enhancing your strong qualities initially and primarily because eliminating flaws is significantly more challenging and not everyone is able to do it. For instance, if you realize that you are more skilled in trendy deals, concentrate on them. Don't try to get into every deal, but crank up the trading to maximum profitability at the same pace as the signals of the same type of signals and only then gradually attempt something different for yourself. Four seconds remaining, dear friends. Yes, not too shabby, all right? I currently have a balance of $1478 in my account. Let us locate a fresh entry point into the deal. We are currently operating with very limited resources. So folks, another option for a $1,000 decrease. Now in principle, a clear picture is emerging. Pay attention to the schedule, I'll explain everything. What was the difficulty here? Seemingly obvious, the chart has reached a resistance level, which is right here. The chart does not go any further, but it was of utmost importance to wait for the right moment to open and understand at which exact mark the real resistance level is located and determine its significance. Haste could be fatal. Looking at the blue ADX line, we can see that there isn't enough strength to break this trend right now, and the lack of volatility is also evident from the columns of the MACD histogram. Another query is that the level of resistance theoretically could have potentially been even higher. The level is still some kind of zone, despite the fact that I draw it in a straight manner. If you had hurried to open the deal and the price had increased, the deal would have been in a negative financial state for a brief period of time within that specific minute. But we waited until the chart tested this level and the momentum faded and we also opened a trade later on the downside. We have a great outcome instead of a loss, that's amazing. These errors are also commonly made by beginners, so friends, never rush, take the time to analyze. Better to miss chance than blow deposit. But for now, let's proceed to other pairs today. Okay, so it's a similar situation. I'm currently waiting because it's not clear where the level of resistance will be. The schedule can still grow. Yep, that's right. Now I think it's high time to open a deal for a decline. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Let's break down the situation. 
we finally reached the point where the resistance level is located. Yeah, now we see that the chart broke through the level and we also see that the trend is gaining strength along the ADX line. However, I still anticipate growth through correction as there is still a small amount of volatility and buyers continue to demonstrate a lot of strength in the market. So like from the sellers, if we had hurried to initiate the transaction at the point when the chart appeared to be stationary at first sight, it is conceivable that we would have overlooked the adjustment. We wouldn't have enough time to expire. The most frustrating thing is that you think correctly, but lose money. Because of such cases, fear of opening deals and accordingly, lack of self-confidence is formed. Our deal is profitable with a balance of $3,200. Great friends, let's find other ways to boost this amount today. Okay people, what is the plan here? Right, we must determine where the growth will ultimately stop. We can scroll through the chart and locate a potential resistance level to consider for this analysis. Now, in my opinion, a good entry point. If it's still not clear what the essence is, pay attention to the graph. Based on the indicators, there are clear signals for growth. They're all crystal clear. There is a convergence of lines on all indicators and the strength of the trend is at a good level. The main question was where this towering candle would end its growth. Strong movements like these are typically seen during a correction. Typically it is a quarter of the candles and occasionally even half. The crucial thing was simply to locate the resistance level and trade based on it. It would be an error to engage in transactions to enhance without recognizing that the growth is already decelerating. Inexperienced individuals in trading frequently switch between charts and when they observe such candles, they do not even allocate a few moments to carry out some fundamental analysis of the overall picture as a whole. If you don't rush, you'll profit on your balance. We have $4,000 in the cash register. Let's find a new opportunity and try to increase balance again today. All right, let's open deal for promotion. Currency pair on exchange, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. If I'm not mistaken, we have already done and seen something like this today. Let us break down the situation on the graph in detail. The price has increased to the resistance level here. Then came the correction, which ended on the middle line of the cone channel. Important point, the correction is happening on an upward trend. That's why I'm expecting a bounce up from the channel's midline. Then it is probable that there will be further decline, but within a minute, there are signals that indicate the potential for growth. There is a signal from Magdi as well, his green line crosses the red line from the top to the bottom. But I'm expecting a decrease after the correction because the Kertner channel lines are strong support levels. Ignoring the step-like movement of the chart increases the risk of losing money from a trade due to miscalculating the expiration. Hey folks, we've got a profit of $820 in our balance. This number makes me very happy. Let's continue moving forward. So everyone, it is crucial to comprehend the correct entry point for the deal. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. It is time to initiate a deal for a decrease. Allow me to clarify the situation. Pay attention to the schedule. We should review all the details once more. We possess a level. The level of resistance in this particular case. I believe it is quite obvious. The graph was in a growth phase. He reached the level, but beyond that the price enters the consolidation zone. So, next comes a side story, or a flat in other terminology, call it whatever you desire or choose. To put it simply, the price got stuck in a hallway between two boundaries. The Kirtner canal lines essentially show us these frames. We can see that the strength of the trend has dropped for the ADX indicator, and all the lines have been chopped up. The MACD columns are also tiny, so there is no tight intersection of lines. So. There's an obvious calm in the market, no growth in sight. It's important to correctly interpret all signals, and in this case, you can confidently open a trade for a decrease based on the resistance level. If we had rushed and opened a deal, let's say at this point, we could have run into a lack of expiration time again and incurred a loss. Due to this mistake, while I was wasting time, my friends, the transaction was completed. 
Also, we have a balance of $5,700. That is incredible. Let's keep moving. Okay, people, another agreement falling through currently is the ideal moment for it, in my viewpoint. It is the identical story in this location. You have the potential to lose money if you hurry and fail to conduct an analysis. Opened up at bottom of Cone Canal, previously punctured by candle. But why didn't open right away? Let's break it down. We are witnessing an emerging trend in ADX strength and the red line indicating the strength of sellers. With low volatility on the columns, but there was still a crossover on the MACD line. We also have a double top, a bright signal pattern for a market reversal. So there are numerous signals all indicating one thing, which is a decrease. But obviously, all of this is happening against the backdrop of very low player activity. So the trading is occurring like the video is recorded in slow motion. In such a situation, everything moves very slowly. So I was opening up specifically on the correction. As we see, I did it right. We have $910 in our cash register. This gives us the result. If I had rushed and entered a deal where the candle's shadow ends, I'd be crying now and missing out on my money. Now the question is, what do we do next? While there is definitely a trend towards decrease, we ain't gonna rush no way, no how. We already figured out why. Let's take a look at the chart instead. At present, I believe it's the right time to start shorting. We should figure out the reasons behind my decision at this particular moment. The chart has gone beyond the support level, which is positioned right at this mark, signifying a noteworthy breakthrough in the market. Historically, that's a strong level of support, huh? He's right below us. And there aren't really any other obstacles before him. So I expect the price to eventually drop right down to it. Let's examine it, buddies. The lack of patience is essentially one big mistake that all beginners tend to make. They're in such a rush and want to get into the market as fast as possible. That's why they start seeing signals where there are none at all. Ultimately, trading becomes a gamble. Never do it under no circumstances should you engage in this risky game of chance. You gotta know when to make a trade and when to hold off, clear as day. And wait for better times. Remember you're like a shark, patiently waiting for its prey. Friends, we get our prey. It's $910 that came to our balance thanks to perseverance. That's why in my videos I talk a lot about trader psychology. In my opinion, it's more important than any strategies and settings of technical analysis indicators. I'm opening a put option again. I think we'll catch another move on this correction. I am using the same analysis, thus I am also waiting for the price to go down. I anticipate a decrease in price based on my analysis. Hey friends, let's hang tight for now. I want to tell you about another rule of trading. You can't hope and pray for a lucky outcome here. In the market, it is entirely pointless to have faith in luck and believe in the best. Only laws operate in this context, and these laws are entirely different. You solely earn money when an individual loses theirs. That is the mechanism by which the stock market operates. Therefore, it is entirely futile to hold any hope that someone possesses the capability to enhance and attentively listen to your prayers. Your objective is to conform to the principles of your trading system and solely your trading system. Furthermore, a request in front of the screen appears quite strange. Your achievement relies entirely on you and your actions. Companions, we already possess nearly $8.5,000 in the cash register. The outcome is astonishing, I assure you. However, it is crucial to remain calm and adhere to your own principles. Therefore, let us wait for a while and monitor the quotations. Well, what is your opinion? Is it another transaction executed at the highest point of the correction candle? This time not from the middle line of the Kerner channel, but slightly below it. Nevertheless, you still need to look at the chart, not just the indicators. The graph returned to the level it had difficulty with previously. This level is truly challenging. Now that could potentially be a level of resistance. It would be ideal if it lined up with the Kenner channel. But in this particular situation, the correction is quite strong. I'd wait. Hey guys, gotta be honest, breaking a major trading rule. Important to take breaks after deals so you don't get caught up in the excitement. But I want to bring the amount up to a record high today. For me, it's $10,000. So I am taking a bit of a risk. 
In general, I recommend beginners to take breaks after three consecutive profitable trades. If you have more experience than five, seven deals. Yeah, folks, we got 910 bucks in our cash register. Awesome. I think we'll be done here for now. The activity is already below any criticism. Therefore, I will search for new opportunities for today. All right, so what's up? Another deal going down the drain. Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Here's an interesting situation to figure out whether there will be a breakthrough of the level. Attention to the schedule. He has reached a point of resistance right here due to his growth. At that particular moment, things were truly starting to take off. The identical movement is replicated by the green ADX line. At the moment, initially, we are observing the green DX line starting to unfold, which is giving signals regarding the strength of the buyers in the market. The seller's red line is increasing. There is a signal from MACD indicating a potential crossover from the top to the bottom, suggesting a market reversal. We are able to perceive that there was a similar situation prior, precisely at this very point in time. Okay, my mistake, I sketched it incorrectly, we need to rectify it. There was a revision made to the upper limit of the Keltner channel, and at this point, the MACD lines were converging in a similar manner. So here, at the upper boundary of the channel, I anticipate a price decrease. Yeah, pals, it's great. 880 USD in cash. Balance 10k. Total 10,200 USD. Not bad. Balance 10k. Total 10,200 USD. Not bad. Hey guys, check it out. There's a divergence happening, so we should immediately make another deal to go down. The price has gone up a bit, but the indicators continue to decline. This is always a good opportunity to make a deal. Let's see, we are currently waiting for the outcome. Let us wrap things up simultaneously in parallel. Today we've covered mistakes causing deposit drain. I've talked about technical errors, market analysis miscalculations, and misinterpretation of signals in great detail. From the indicators, dealing with such situations no doubt is something that needs to be done. Otherwise there won't be any progress, but these errors are on the surface, so you can always see them. No less important are the invisible rules of trading. It's about psychology first and foremost. They've filmed a lot of videos on my channel. Don't forget to pay attention to this aspect of trading. I assure you, you're losing most of your money right here. By working on yourself, you'll avoid a lot more losses than chasing after other people's strategies, other people's settings. Hey guys, I'm only three secs from a record acceleration. Yeah, amazing. That's a result of my one one zero 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 accelerations. $118 folks, awesome. So here's the overall result of our trading session today. Now let's put all this stuff on our crypto wallet. To our crypto wallet. All right, people, let's proceed to withdrawing the funds we earned today. I typically accomplish this using a cryptocurrency wallet as I previously stated. The most convenient format, in my opinion, is USDT. This is the equivalent of the US dollar, but in crypto format. USDT is traded against other currencies at the exchange rate of the US dollar and has high liquidity, making it a highly sought after asset. In any country, you'll be able to exchange it for both cash and transfer it to any bank card from the exchange or through P2P. Okay, people, here's a crucial tip. It's best not to withdraw over 10K dollars at once. Let it be a few transactions, but above this, there will be additional checks and this slows down depositing funds into your crypto wallet. Okay, a total of 9K dollars. Not too shabby for a beginning, considering the starting point from which you commenced. I withdraw money from the ATM and put it into my wallet, which I use regularly, so that I won't need to enter a PIN code when making purchases or transactions. So. Here it is, you'll need to specify it for the first time. The PIN code comes to your mailbox. So great friends, the money is gone. You see the balance has been deducted, there's only 2000 left. I'll be trading further with this amount. And we should wait until the money has been transferred to my wallet before taking any further action or making any decisions. Okay, what's up pals, our deal is done. We deducted 9000 from our trading account. The current status is finished, the total number of enrollments is estimated to be around 9,000 and the overall duration is approximately 20 to 30 minutes. 
No extra fees or questions, that's a wrap. Now all that's left is to sum up today's trading. Well folks, that was one crazy ride. One dollar and I managed to turn them into 11,000. You wanna do the same? Subscribe to my Telegram channel and come to my marathon. Drop some likes on this video if it was helpful and interesting to you. Press the bell icon if you do not want to miss out on my latest videos, you know. Subscribe to my channel. We'll see you regularly. But for today, I bid you farewell, my friends. Don't need to make sense of today. Until we meet again, wishing you all the best, lots of profit. See you later. Catch you on my channel.